Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we are gonna make these cute pockets. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I did is I found a template for an envelope for the size that I wanted, and I just cut it out of some scrap paper that I had because most of it will be covered. I'm going to just crease and score this up and fold it. I'm not going to glue it together though. Folding this up so I can get a feel on how much fabric or paper I will need to embellish this envelope. And then we're just going to put this envelope aside. So I found this piece of old paper that I wanted to stamp my house image onto. So you're gonna find something you would like to stamp or some sort of an embellishment that matches the theme so it coordinates with what you're doing. Put this aside. So I'm gonna show you how I am going to color these embellishments for my envelope. We are using paper and we're also using fabric. So today I'm going to be using my Bohemian Brights. These are from DIY and I am really enjoying these because they are translucent. So for this project, you could use these or you could find a translucent paint. What I'm using is my jelly printing plate for a nice thin layer. We did another video using my jelly printing plate. So you can also refer back to that and I'm just putting drops of paint in different sections on my jelly plate. So I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to start rolling. And this is also going to help thin this out a little bit, but it's going to give me some fun variegated color. how pretty that came out and look how translucent that is that you can actually still see everything through that and let's grab some of our fabric and you can cover as much or as little as you would like and if you want the color a little different you can even add a little more So you can see some of these fun colors that are that are on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put one of my small inlays on a piece of this fabric. The paint needs to be wet. So I'm going to put some of this paint, then I'm going to add just a bit of water to it. I am just going to paint a section here. You just want it nice and saturated. So I'm using my IOD paint inlay. You adhere them down, face down, onto the wet paint. And you want to let this dry on here. We are going to re-wet the back and release this paper to see the image. So when your piece is dry, So when it comes to these inlays, depending on the type of paint and surface you're putting it onto, they are usable. People have used them up to three different times. The image gets a little bit lighter, but they still work. Depending the type of sealer or paint you were using, sometimes it won't. So even after that, I will actually use the paper as a decoupage paper. So this is the original envelope that you would cut out and left like this. I'm turning mine into a pocket. If you didn't want to, you could just leave this flap up and actually make it into an envelope of this and decorate the top of that also. But since I'm going to be making this as a pocket for a journal page, so I am going to glue this top edge down and I'm just using a Mod Podge. So I am using my Vintage Photo Distressing Ink and I'm going to go around all these edges so anything that still is showing is already distressed. Spraying it with a little bit of water since it is water activated. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue a piece right here before I've glued the envelope together. I found that really does make it a lot easier. And these are some of the pieces that we had just done. So before I start ripping this apart, I'm just gonna look and see what do I want for where. 
I want this flower over here. So I'm just ripping apart some pieces to see where I want them. I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I am going to glue this down in on the top here to get me started. Then I can glue these flaps down. This just makes it easier. So I'm just going to put some glue on this edge and you could actually just use double stick tape. Now, if you're concerned at all that this is going to glue to itself, just stick something in there while this is drying. So I'm gonna glue this piece down here. It doesn't matter if you overlap a bit or it doesn't quite cover. By the time you're done here, it'll just look really, really fun. And then we're gonna trim this excess off. This house is gonna go on here. And I'm really only going to see just a bit of this because my house will be over this also. So any of this excess you have, you can just fold back and glue to the back or just cut off. I'm going to cut my house out a bit. And I'm just using the straight edge to tear it. So I'm going to glue my house right here. I'm going to trim some of this edge off. And same thing, you could just fold it to the back, but I can keep these pieces to use for another project. And with all this fabric attached to this envelope for this pocket, it really will make it much, much sturdier. So I think I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch around this whole thing. And then we'll finish embellishing. So I'm gonna do some stamping. You can see I, I stitched all the way around and I even stitched across here so it's a little bit smaller here. And we're just gonna stamp this up. And now I am going to distress this and I'm gonna use my vintage photo again. And you can see maybe the edges of the paper, you can see a little of the distressing, a lot of it was covered. I'm just gonna go over my stitches. And since this is water activated, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of this. And it moves it around a bit. And then I'm gonna be using, this is part of my vintage texture stamp. I really like this one on here. This is one of my IOD stamps. Let this dry for a moment, and then I'm gonna seal it. So I'm gonna put my big top sealer over this just to seal it. And I'm gonna put something in here so I don't seal my pieces completely together. I put something a little larger in there, and it kind of, when it dries then, it kind of puffs your pocket out a little bit. So it gives you some more room to put some things in. So I hope you guys thought this was fun and you learned a few new tips and tricks on some of our embellishing, uh, other ways to use the inlays and using fabric to reinforce your paper with our Bohemian Brights, which are translucent so you can see through them. Hope you give us a try, but whatever you do, have fun.